government's gratitude for the continued support by COMESA in its development efforts, especially in areas of industrialization, investment, and trade. Malawi has been implementing a number of trade facilitation instruments, which, among others, include the simplified trade regime, authorized economic operators, and, in addition, the trade facilitation project at Nchinji border, which is complementing the soon to be commissioned one stop border post. It is my sincere hope that COMESA will continue to support Malawi government's development initiatives, including the COVID 19 response and recovery plan aimed at addressing challenges caused by the pandemic as well as through technical and financial support and capacity building programs. Your Excellency, speaking of COVID-19, it is time that African countries took advantage of the situation by standing together to boost intra-African trade. As you rightly stated in one of your statements, I quote, the COVID-19 pandemic has proved to us that regional integration can play a critical role in meeting the supply and demand needs of goods and services in our region, end of quote. We Africans are all we have. Finally, let me reaffirm Malawi government's commitment to work and to the work and efforts of COMESA. Now that you have formally joined the team of accredited permanent representatives, we look forward to working with you in furtherance of our cooperation and support to Malawi. As you may be aware, COMESA has provided some support to the development of Malawi in various areas, as some of which you have already highlighted. And allow me to, to highlight some of the support that we have extended to Malawi. Under trade facilitation, Commissar Secretariat and the Government of Malawi have signed an agreement that subdelegates the implementation of coordinated border management activities. Trade and transport facilitation program at Muchinji border between Zambia and Malawi. The program includes specific support to Malawi worth 3.5 million euros as well as a support of the implementation of key pillars of the one-stop border post operations. Through the Cross-Border Trade Initiative Program, COMESA facilitated the review of the common list, which will be traded between Malawi and Zimbabwe using the COMESA Simplified Trade Regime, STR. Under the agriculture and industry sector, through the Sanitary and Cytosanitary Investments for Markets Access Program, we support Malawi's primary focus aimed at boosting agricultural exports and its trade capacity in its targeted value chains involving honey, horticulture, livestock, and oil seeds and legumes. Let me bring to your attention one of the key outstanding issues uh, for us which we wish Malawi to pay particular attention. Malawi signed the Tripartite Free Trade Area Agreement on 10th June 2015. The ratification process of the agreement is ongoing and 11 member partner states have already ratified the Tripartite Free Trade Area Agreement. There are only three more ratifications required before the agreement enters into force. The Tripartite Free Trade Area is one of the most important export destinations for member and partner states and it's critical it's a critical enabler for the socio-economic transformation of the region and the continent at large. We understand that the government of Malawi has made efforts and is in advanced stages of completing the ratification process of the Tripartite Free Trade Area Agreement. 
is we are informed that the ratification process was expected to be completed before the end of 2020, but there were some unforeseen delays. We urge Malawi to complete this ratification of the tripartite free trade area agreement so that it enters into force and economic operators can then utilize opportunity in this immense market uh, for addressing public policy challenges of wealth and employment creation. We will count on your support for this matter.